What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Bob and Brad. Bob and Brad are two physical therapists who created a massage gun and I've been using this for about two weeks now and it's absolutely amazing. This gun comes with five different attachments that can be used for various types of massages. This is my favorite one and one of the big reasons that I like this is if I show up to the course late and I don't have time to hit range balls, I can hit some of the bigger muscle groups and really get a good warm up in before I go to the first tee. Guys, these massage guns are super easy and super effective. This definitely helps prevent injury and gets you warmed up really quick when you don't have time. So click the link in the description, go over to bobandbrad.com and check them out. Guys, I'm obsessed with opening my garage and I don't even know why. It is absolutely nasty out there. I've been drinking coffee for 24 hours and I need I need help, but um, probably gonna go get some more coffee huh? and then uh, get into just seeing what these dri two drivers got. But I wonder how far we could go in reverse on the road without looking at the road. Forty-seven degrees. It's really not even cold, but <laughs> yes, it is. All right, guys. So I made it over to the simulator here. I haven't been here in a while. Basically, this simulator is a little bit off. Okay, it's not deadly accurate. But since we're testing two drivers, since I'm testing two drivers on the same simulator, the numbers are going to be, you know, relative to each other. So I know that the spin is going to be a little off, and uh, the carry, the ball speed is usually pretty accurate because I had a track man in here one time. Um, and then those two numbers can vary a little bit, but the spin is gonna be you know It's relative to each driver not necessarily to what it the real is So I'm gonna I'm gonna get a pretty good idea of you know how it spins and I know how much my sim Pretty much the you know the numbers of where my sim is so that's gonna kind of kind of use that and go off of that But just gonna hit a bunch of drives with each of them. I'm gonna hit the two I don't think I gave the Mizuno enough of a chance I, I let my brother use it for a while and it, he didn't really like it. It's back in my hands and I'm gonna see I'm just gonna hit a couple and see where I'm at. Um, the length on these two drivers, almost exactly the same, but um, but I hit a couple balls to warm up and I'm just gonna start getting into the action and just uh, see how I'm feeling about these drivers. I'm starting out with the Sim 2 and I'm gonna just hit probably five or 10 and then kind of go back and forth and kind of see what we're feeling, but hit a couple to get warmed up here and then we'll kind of start seeing how the miss hits are and everything. That was actually really good to start out here. Ball speed is actually really close. I just know that based off of how I hit it. Club head speed is going to read a little bit, real little bit off, but I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, see that the club head speed's kind of bouncing around, and it kind of, I mean, from what I've heard, when you swing at a higher speed with this simulator, it just kind of can't read it too good. But 3,500 spin, I know is a little bit high. But you know, still carrying 326 relative to the simulator. A little left, a little overdraw, but I think I'm probably kind of aiming over there. Obviously, I'm a big fan of TaylorMade, and I love the sim too. But just wanna, just wanna keep my options open and know that I'm, you know, feeling comfortable with the, with what I'm working with. Whoa! I hit a cut for one. This will be a good reading here to see what I'm see what I'm working with when I, with a miss hit. Yeah, I see the ball speed drop by about eight miles an hour, which is pretty accurate. I went after that one. That was, that was kind of unnecessary, but they're a good average right now because I hit a couple really good ones and then I hit a couple bad ones. That club speed and ball speed was not not right, obviously, because it said it says 189, but it said 109, so that was a little off misreading there, but I'm going to hit a couple more with the Sim 2 here. That was really good, so it looks like my average ball speed with this is about 180 with the Sim, at least on the simulator, which that's that's actually really close to being accurate. 321 has been a pretty cons pretty consistent number up there. kind of know where this is, I'm kind of excited to see where the Mizuno is based off of I mean my swings changed a little bit and hopefully I've gotten a little better since I had that in my hands. See that ball speed is obviously not right but... That might be a good one to kind of 
wrap up the sim for just a second. That was squared up, a little, a little spinny. Honestly, that was probably like a 3,000 backspin, so it's a little high, but I'm gonna sm switch over to the Mizuno here and see see what we're gonna be working with and see how it feels in my hands. I know that for the little bit that I did have in this, this in my bag, it felt really good, so let's see what happens. The head of this driver looks, looks so much bigger than the Sim 2. This club I actually did reach 200 miles an hour ball speed with, and it's just a standard length, and I have never done that. Well, I did that once with my Sim, but it just feels so much different, and honestly, it feels good, but we're gonna see how it re reacts. Well, the first one was not hit well, and I, you can probably see it right there, 181 ball speed, 300 carry, which having it hit that bad, I would say that's, that was pretty nice. All right, once again, that was also hit really bad. It's a little bit different feeling, but the fact that that didn't spin, like it went right, but it didn't go near as far as right as it would have went with my Sim, my Sim 2. That is very, very appealing to me right now. Wow. That was hit a little better, and obviously the result, wow. 328, 348 total. That's, I think that might be the farthest one I've hit. When I get comfortable with it and hit a few good ones, then I'll start to tell. This will be a good one to get hit off of. Whew, I'm telling you, I mean, I'm gonna hit a couple more. I can't. I can't make a judgment call, you know, just yet, but that felt insanely good. All right, so the spin, like I said in the beginning of the video, the spin is reading higher than it would on the track, man, just because of this system. This driver, I can already tell you, is going a little bit farther than my sim. And the spin is a little bit lower on average than the sim 2 as well. So that you know, bringing the spin down obviously makes it go a little bit farther. I don't know, I'm gonna hit a couple more with this, but this driver, it feels really good, and I remember having it in my bag and thinking that it's a, it's a really, really good quality club. I don't really necessarily like the comfortability of it. It doesn't look quite as appealing as the Sim 2, but I think that's just because I am not used to it. When I hit them both square, I like the feeling of this one better. I do, I do notice that my miss is definitely Definitely a little left, more left with this club than the sim. All right, I'm gonna give it a couple more whacks because I, there's some reason that I that I want to keep hitting this driver. And I don't know exactly what it is yet. I probably hit, I hit quite a few balls there with the Mizuno. But what I've noticed so far, the Mizuno definitely goes farther. There's, there's, it's hands down, probably a solid 15 to 18, maybe even 20 yards farther than the Sim. But it is not as consistent, at least for the first two, um, you know, hitting the Sim and then hitting the, the Mizuno. So definitely not as consistent. But I would say that my misses with the Mizuno are smaller than my misses with the Sim too. So there's, there's a little give and take. And I'm not, I, I definitely think that just, you know, the compromise for that little extra distance, it's not quite there yet. It's not enough for me to switch to this club, the Mizuno. Definitely going to hit the Sim 2 again and see what happens. But like I said, the biggest two differences right now, Mizuno goes farther, Sim 2 a little more consistent, Sim 2 bigger misses, um, Mizuno smaller misses. So interesting, interesting situation we got here, but I'm going to hit a couple more with the Sim 2. All right, back to the Sim 2. This club feels good and looks good, so. Whew. That was not good. I'm so consistently right there with my miss. I just need to aim for them, right? Man, I tell ya, I love the Sim 2. I'm not gonna lie, I know the simulator is probably a little bit off. The way that I'm hitting these, like the feel that I'm hitting them, is, you know, I could be hitting them that bad, but it sure does not feel like it. Whew. All right, I just hit a bunch of drivers. Very interesting situation. I've been driving it really well, and I know some of those numbers are really far off um, because that's I've just experienced that in here, but 
it is relative to each club and relative to this simulator. So I gotta be honest, I'm not necessarily biased toward TaylorMade, but right now with the numbers that I saw today, I said it, I'm just gonna kind of give a quick, quick recap of kind of what I, what I felt there. Um, Mizuno is definitely, it goes a long ways. Um, that just, I noticed that even with my miss hits, even with, you know, the ones that I did not hit well, it goes a long freaking ways. My misses with the Mizuno are not quite as exaggerated as the TaylorMade, but I, I did have more misses than I had with the Sim 2. So interesting observation there. I got to say for me right now, the Sim 2 is still um where i get where i gotta be um i might take these two out to the course and hit them just for fun but the sim 2 not quite as far spins just a little bit more i have less mitts hits with that club probably because i'm just more comfortable with it overall they're two really good drivers and i'm definitely going to kind of keep fiddling around with them and just kind of see feeling most comfortable on the course but this was a fun video it was a fun just kind of experiment um let me know in the comments what driver you're playing and you know maybe maybe you're playing one of these two and you have something, you know, a similar similar experience with either one of the clubs. But thank you guys for tuning in today. Like I said, it's freeze, freezing cold outside, so I wanted to do something. And uh, came back to the old stomping grounds here. Hadn't been here in a while, but thanks for tuning in. And thanks for all the recent support. Almost to 200K, so if you're still in the video and you made it this far, go ahead and like the video and tell me um, tell me what kind of content you want to see. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep putting it out, and I'm excited for a new year coming up and new content new ideas and just more progress. So thanks for tuning in. See you guys. Peace.